there really is nothing like the feelings before the first day of school. Now bear with me, like tradition, I remember the night before the first day of school, I would be racking my brain with these questions. Would I have friends in my classes? Did I get any uglier over the summer or any better looking? And probably the most thought over question, one that kept me awake all night was, was my outfit worthy of being the first day of school outfit. I mean, could you really blame me? For years, I've been hammered into myself by my mom, Paul. First impressions are everything, which ultimately laid ground for the borderline anxiety that I struggled with the night before the first day of school. Well, fortunately enough, I never have to deal with another first day of school ever again. And you know something? In retrospect, if it's future Paul talking to past Paul, I would have said to myself, dude, it's really not that serious. Nobody's actually going to remember what you wore on the first day of school. In fact, Nobody even remembers how I dressed in high school or college or middle school. I would go as far as to say they didn't really remember how I dressed as much as how I treated people. So uh, that's food for thought. But with, uh, with all that out of the way, I still want you to feel as confident as possible and look good on your first day of school. So. Let's go ahead and talk about some affordable cakes. But I guess beforehand, we have to take a look at some really obnoxiously expensive shoes. Wear these today. I've been literally wearing these every day. So just before we get started, I think it's important we lay down the groundwork for what it takes to make a pair of shoes great for the first day of school. I'm going to keep this list really short and simple. Number one, they have to be affordable. I'm talking to the more practical student, the one that wants a nice pair of shoes they can beat up, wear around a lot. This has to be one of the primary objectives for today's video. The shoes must be affordable. And the second and last criteria is that they have to be wearable. They can't be shoes that number one are not comfortable. Also, what I mean by wearability is that they're going to go with a lot of different things or they go with the desired aesthetic that you are aiming for. Today, we're going to look at a few different silhouettes, styles, colors. We're going to look at a few different pairs of shoes to ultimately get to three pairs of shoes that I would recommend for you to wear for the first day of school. Anyways, let's go ahead and get today's video started. Just pulled up here at the mall and based on the criteria that we kind of just talked about i think it goes without question that we inevitably have to stop at vans so that's gonna be the first stop for today heading into the van shop to see if they have any good sneakers it's a pretty clean right here 60 bucks, not too, too bad. It's an easy pair to wear too. Never go wrong with the white. Oh, the bold N9. Ooh, these kind of look like the rude ones. Bold N9, huge fan of these. The Golden Coasts, these are popping for such a long time. Super clean. The Anaheim Sid. Pick these up in the minimal video. Really sick, but they are 90 bucks. Amazing quality though. So just got done at finish line. Didn't really find anything. They have Nordstrom right now. Yeah, so they have some forces here too. Only big sizes though, it's just crazy. I feel like everybody's buying those for back to school. These are low-key sleeper guys. Can't say enough good things about these. The reacts. They're so good. Always a good option. Okay. 
These are clean too. A pair of blazers. How much are these? Seventy-five. Oh, that's not bad. What do you guys think about these? Seventy-five bucks. Low top blazers. Yo, what up, guys? So I'm now leaving the mall. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry for the quality drop. I did end up vlogging most of this on my phone just because it's mad weird vlogging. It's so busy here at this mall. I didn't expect it to be because it is Monday, but then again, it is also summer. I did put a pair of shoes on order from Nordstrom. So uh, hopefully that turns out well. Shoes look sick. Um, gonna let it be a bit of a surprise. Just kind of let it uh, show up at the house when we do like the grand unboxing of uh, the three shoes I end up getting. I wasn't able to vlog too much because I was getting some crazy looks and I, I just didn't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. I feel like more than anything, like I don't really care what people think about me necessarily because like, I just don't care. But like in fairness, I have to consider like people's comfort. Like maybe they don't want to be on video. Maybe they don't want to like be on the internet and stuff. So like I've been trying to be a bit more mindful. We're going to the next place. I'm heading over to a Nike store to see what they have to offer. Honestly, the in-store selection isn't that good. I feel like most places are just doing direct to customer now uh, because I just had Nordstrom and yeah, they didn't really have any sizes in just about anything. You guys saw those low blazers, but that's really it. And that was the only size that they had in those lows. They were size 10, which obviously doesn't fit me. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try a new place as well. Uh, hopefully gonna find some good stuff. Right now I have two pairs of shoes down. I have one more pair to go and uh, hopefully find something really great. Put in a Nike. Let's see what's good. All right, so I mean, today's shopping excursion was lackluster at best i mean truth be told uh, a majority of today's video or the purchases for today's video is gonna be online orders so i'm gonna have to wait like about a week maybe less hopefully can't lie it's not ideal just because uh i was hoping to uh you know get this video all filmed today that's not the case and in all honesty um I would rather have it be good content where it's shoes that you guys will actually like. Now, I guess I should probably talk to you guys about how the Nike outlet went. I wish I could have vlogged in there. That was like the main goal because I assumed that wouldn't be too busy, but sure enough, it was insanely busy. And having this rig right here, it was just kind of too attention getting. I'm probably gonna get something a little bit smaller. With that being said, I was able to get a little bit of footage on my phone and things that I did find were, I don't know, they're just all right. I mean, I found a lot of reacts and I think I've already mentioned before, but I am a huge fan of the reacts, mainly because of the midsole being so comfortable. Apart from that, I found a few pairs of Air Maxes and that's pretty much it. Honestly, I wasn't too crazy about what I was seeing at the outlets. A lot of the shoes were pretty whack um they did however have a pretty solid selection of basketball shoes i was actually very surprised at that that Kyrie fives for like 89 bucks but overall that was pretty much it with all that being said i was able to talk to a really really kind customer service person inside the zone like yo you need help finding anything they did have a pair of shoes that i have been eyeing for a minute and I won't tell you what they are right now, but you will see what they are in just a little bit as they are currently on their way to my house. Yo, what's good guys? So the shoes have finally arrived. It actually was quicker than I expected. Very, very fast shipping. Shout out to them for making that happen. Before we continue with this video, I did want to come clean, full transparency. So the Vans that I originally purchased, I truthfully wasn't too crazy about. Honestly, that day when I went to the mall, I was looking for something different and really do feel like I settled with a pair of shoes just for the sake of being different. Instead, I decided to show you guys the two pairs of Vans that honestly never leave my feet. We have here the Bold NI. Now, I've been rocking these for quite some time and the beauty of these sneakers is that they're not just available at the boutique Van sellers. These are not Vans Volts. You can actually get these at the normal van store. You can get them at Nordstrom. You can get them at a ton of different places. And honestly, in my opinion, this is a heavily slept on sneaker. Like it looks so 
good on feet. Also, one thing I love about the Bold NI is that they're made with Vans Ultra Cush. That essentially means they're a little bit lighter than your everyday van. And the insole is mega comfortable. Like, these are way more comfortable than normal Vans. All right, so next up is a pair of sneakers that I've been going pretty crazy in the Locust and Wild Honey Facebook group. If you have yet to join the group, I highly suggest you do. A lot of good things go down over there. If you guys are looking to cook and stuff, everybody's uh, really cool about helping each other out and stuff. But here they are, special box. These are the undercover collab. These are called the Daybreaks. And uh, yeah, these are very, very good. Just look at that packaging, super premium. Go ahead and show you guys the shoes here. It's actually my first time seeing them as well in person. Just a crazy colorway for sure. Very, very happy to have these in my collection. These could be a really great alternative to the Sakai waffles. So, so good. Very funky shape. This heel is just crazy. But yeah, they look amazing in person. Definitely a a head turner for sure. The upper is made up of very premium materials. You got some nice buttery suede, nice yellow nylon, and then for the swoosh, it is like a tumble leather. For me personally, I did go true to size with a size nine, and uh, I find that they fit very, very nicely. These go for approximately 150 bucks, and I think they're well worth it. A really sick looking pair of shoes, definitely stand out. And now last, onto the final pair of shoes. I personally think I saved the best for last just because these are probably the most versatile. They're the cleanest. And um, I personally think that like this should replace the Air Force One because those have kind of been overplayed to some extent. I mean, I personally still wear Air Force Ones, but uh, this would be a really great shoe. If you don't want to dress like like half the kids in your school. These are the Blazer Mid 77s. They come in a bunch of different colorways. These are fire. I can definitely see myself wearing these a ton. I think I paid right around $100 for them. So in my opinion, they are well worth the purchase. Now I know this is somewhat of a hot take, but I think these look great with crop denim. Of course you can wear normal denim, uh, baggy cargos, essentially any type of pants that aren't shorts. And even then, you could probably get away with them if you have longer legs. But yeah, such a clean sneaker at $100. You're not going to feel bad about, you know, getting them dirty and stuff like that. And I actually went ahead and got a pair from my brother with the green swoosh. The Blazer 77, easy shoe to wear, a classic silhouette, timeless, very sleek. And uh, probably my number one shoe I would recommend at the moment that's affordable. Also, a side note, if you do like the off-white Blazers, these are a great alternative to that. I mean, number one, they're the same shoe, but they actually also made these with a black swoosh. So apart from like some of like the finite details on the off-white version, you're pretty much gonna get the same kind of style silhouette aesthetic. So needless to say, these have to be my number one suggested sneakers for back to school. Affordability, wearability, and just a great sneaker overall. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming. Truthfully, I had a ton of fun making today's video. Anyways, with all that being said, as in every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.